I uh, used to work at a radio station in town, WLS, uh, and, uh, and there was a guy who was like a, a childhood hero of mine. Um, actually, uh, Steve Dow was my hero, my childhood hero, and he had a sidekick named Gary Meyer. Um, I just got interviewed by Gary Meyer. Yeah. Wow. You know what? You know what that shows? That there's, uh, it's all connected. Yeah. The, the Greeks, the Romans. I wonder if Gary Meyer. He might be Sumerian, for all I know. But yeah, uh, yeah. Well, the, now that would the name that would Meyer is Sumerian. Sumerian. You're right is about that. Right? that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> you see. So there I am, there at that WLS, and uh, Gary's, uh, yeah, kind of standoffish, and I didn't really ever want to like go up and like approach him too much because I was afraid that maybe he like would get me fired or something. Yeah. I kind of almost got that vibe. But uh, one day, just purely random, just by chance, yeah. I go into the washroom. Mm. And he is bolting out of one of the stalls, and I noticed that he didn't flush. Oh! And I'm not making any kind of a, like a, I'm a judgment. I'm not trying to like make a judgment here, but I. But all I know is whenever I see him, that is like the mental image that flashes through my head. It's a weird. It's a weird association to have with another person, you know, especially a radio personality. Wow. Yeah. But maybe he was bolting out because uh, because uh, he walked in and somebody hadn't flushed, so he <laughs> bolted out. There you go. Because I can't believe uh, you know he has kind of a Chris Cooper vibe to him, really. Chris Cooper? Why does doesn't Chris Cooper flush? No, either? but he looks like Chris Cooper. Are you saying that Chris Cooper's a uh, Samaritan? A non no, but they do look alike. Chris Cooper, born in Missouri, Kansas City. Who knew that? Okay. The born identity, American beauty. Oh. Adaptation, Born the Patriot. The Patriot. This, the Greeks didn't even have this, but Aristotle had all this in his head.